Again, look at I. Um, well, let me just about the pay fors. Um, you said that uh, there may be different pay fors uh, before this is all done. Does that mean that the current pay fors might be subject to change in, in the bill? I mean, I mentioned the G fees before and some of the concerns right. that have been raised about that. They're going to be. They're going to be. If, if you're making them the amendments in order, there are going to be some some debates on the floor about that. I I hope they don't change. I hope we're able to maintain uh, the same pay fors with the Senate to get us into conference to get us a three-year bill. But I'm, what I'm talking about is looking beyond that. To, and of course, the Ways and Means Committee is the committee that has the jurisdiction to, to figure the revenues out. And I know that Paul Ryan has been working very hard to try to figure out with the Senate how we move forward on that and get some more dollars into this. Yeah. And let me just say, I just, if, uh, you, did you want to add something? Mr. Well, yeah. I mean, I would, it's not uh, been entertained, but I have put forward numerous proposals uh, on the tradition of user fees since the Eisenhower administration. Other members have put forward and there's a bipartisan proposal from Pascrell and uh, uh, Ribble, I believe. Renacy. Uh, Renacy, sorry. Um, so there are a number of proposals out there. I think some of them are going to be proposed as amendments. Uh, but whether you know this committee and its wisdom is going to allow those, I don't know. But uh, for my part, uh, I really think it's very difficult to get to the levels of funding I think we need uh, without user fees, and I think the American people are actually much more receptive than some people who are holding uh, levers here uh, believe they are. In fact, as I understand it, uh, eight totally red states in the last two years have raised their gas tax, and nobody's been recalled or lost their election. The American people get it. Uh, you know, they're, they're tired of the potholes, they're tired of the detours, they're tired of the congestion, uh, and they'd also like to see a more robust economy. But, uh, you know, at, at the moment that's not being entertained. Uh, but, uh, you know, we do have that critical provision in the bill. If the bill moves forward in this form, uh, and if it came out of conference in this form, it does allow for additional revenues later. And I know there's controversy around some of the pay-fors, and uh, they may well get changed in conference. I don't know. But we don't get to work on that part. No, and I appreciate that. And just, um, you know, one other thing, I, and I mentioned this, idea, this, this push that's going on here um, uh, for bigger and heavier trucks. And, um, you know, I remind my colleagues that in MAP 21, uh, we asked the DOT to do a study. Uh, and uh, DOT concluded that not enough good data exists, and therefore we should, there should be no changes in truck size and weights until we have a better idea. I mean, they were pretty explicit about that. And, um, and loading this bill up with all kinds of exemptions or raising the truck size and truck weight, um, you know, I think is, uh, you know, to do so um, uh, without a lot of thought um, behind what the implications are, um, I think would be a really, really big mistake because we, we get bigger trucks, uh, truck crashes uh, kill nearly 4,000 uh, people in this country a year, mostly people, passengers and, and automobiles. I've interviewed countless truck drivers um, who, uh, who do not want to be driving bigger and heavier trucks. I've heard the trucking industry say that bigger and heavier trucks means fewer trucks on the road. Well, that's never been the case. Every time we raise truck size and truck weight, uh, more trucks go on the road. Um, I, I'm not against, I'm a big supporter, I'm, a, I'm not against the trucking industry. I'm just, um, I, I, we, we do things around here sometimes without, under, without fully understanding what the safety implications are. And I get, I'm predicting that there will be a lot of amendments made in order, um, and probably will be uh, out of necessity in order to get through them all. There will be very short debate times. Um, and so there will not be a lot of in-depth debate on any of these amendments. I'm just saying I hope there's a bipartisan effort on the committee to try to say no to some of these um, more controversial amendments that I think could, uh, could do great harm to the uh, driving public. And, um, and there's, there's several amendments that are being proposed uh, that would do that. I think it's a bad idea. Um, it's not in your bill, but I'm just afraid that uh, uh, it might be in before the, before it's all said and done, and uh, you know, and the idea that somehow that uh, we're going to bigger trucks are going to on our, our interstate highway means that they will they won't be driving on our side roads um, defies logic, given the fact that a lot of the deliveries that have to be made are you know not right off the highway. Uh, so we'll just be expanding the danger. So anyway, I just say that for the record because I'm I'm really troubled by this attempt to always expand the size of trucks and make them heavier and bigger. It's just it's, it's a bad idea. And I appreciate you being here. And uh, hopefully we'll get through this in one piece and your delicate compromise stays in place and 
people don't around here don't screw it all up, and we can all support it in a nice, big, bipartisan way. Thank you. Um, thank you very much.